there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Today I am scrap lifting myself. This is my original layout that I am scrapbooking, that I am scrap lifting, not scrapbooking. I've already scrapbooked it. So um, I am going to scrap lift it and use these two photos of my daughter and my husband doing some archery at a local Boy Scout event called Scoutorama. And uh, this was another challenge over at the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. And I believe it was from December. I could be wrong on that. Could have been January. But I'm pretty sure it was December. And the challenge was to um, scrap lift yourself and use some, um, some kind of like embossing powder or stamps or something like that on your background. So... I am going to do this long vertical swatch of embossed arrows. In my original layout, I think I started with a branding strip. Anyway, I have a long vertical swipe, swatch of paper um, that are layered up on the right hand side. And so I'm doing that exact same thing, but I'm starting with these arrows uh, underneath all of that. So. I had to kind of piece it together and I don't know what I was thinking why I started the bottom one before I got this little middle section done but uh, a good way to remedy that was to use these post-it notes on either side and then stamp those arrows in between so there you can see it's all done and then I'm gonna use some of this red scrap paper and this is out of my scrap bin and the I believe it's from fancy pants but I really love this paper I love those big circles on the red and um, it is one of my favorite pieces of paper from I don't even know what collection it is at this point but um, it's been in my scrap bin for quite a while because I didn't want to use it up because I love it so much but you know what it looks better in the album than in my scrap bin so I'm gonna use it today um, my go-to when using photos that have archery in them which oh my gosh I have a ton of um, is arrows. So I have pulled out all kinds of arrow paper. Those That yellow paper, it looks geometric on my screen right now, but um, in person it looks like arrows, kind of like just the, the directional yellow arrows that are kind of like pointing. It's not like the arrow that has the tail on it, but um, it still direction gives feels like an arrow and direction to me. So um, then I'm going to add this blue, and I'm I did not go based off of color at all on this layout. I went based off of the pattern. So I pulled out all of the arrows and um, went from there. And then I made everything else match. <laughs> so red, yellow, and blue is what we've got. And of course the red doesn't have arrows, but those big circles remind me of targets. So hey, I'm going with it. Um, and then I went through my three by four and four by four cards and I pulled out this one that's got the black stripes and I like how that looks and it's kind of funny because I don't use these kind of cards a lot um, I always forget to go to them uh, I tend to use the ones in the cut apart sheet more frequently than the ones that came like I think these came from like a hip kit or something like that um, and I don't have a subscription to hip kits or anything like that or Maybe it was a click kit. I don't know. I don't have a subscription. I had just purchased some that were on sale several years ago. And so the cards are still in my stash, even though the papers are pretty much gone because I used the papers up pretty quickly. And then I decided I wanted to bring some more down into that bottom left-hand side, some more of those arrows, because my original, has, my original layout has some embellishment down in that. Um, corner so I wanted to carry that throughout so I had to go back and stamp that and emboss it and then I'm gonna put some strips of paper that match the ones that I've used in the layering and I do like how that came out um, and you can use little tiny bits for this you don't have to use anything that's huge and um, it does make it look really cool because it just draws your eye back down into that corner and it's kind of funny because I think I still like my original better than the second one. 
And that's probably because I really love Chamel's papers and that is um, what is used in the original. But um, I do like how this came out as well. And this was really good to get documented. This was the first year that we helped out at this event. And um, my husband and I are both, um, well, at the time we were both qualified to teach archery. Um, we had been trained for that. And uh, because of that, my kids had a lot of experience on an archery range as well. So my daughter is kind of co- or not co, but junior leading that and helping out. And we are teaching kids from the community and other scouts how to shoot archery at this particular event. So it's kind of like they just get a little taste of it. They don't get um, they don't get to do it for a long period of time, but it is kind of giving them a taste of what uh, you can do in scouting at different camps or you know, if you plan it with your troop or whatever. So that's what we are doing, giving back to the community, especially the scouting community. And um, we did scouts for so many years, and it worked out really well for our, our family. We also did 4-H, and we taught archery in 4-H as well, and we did archery at 4-H camp for years. So I have a lot of archery photos, and um, therefore I have a lot of arrow paper. Um, you just saw me punch some vellum. And I just punched some circles, and I'm using those as a landing place for some embellishments. And then I'm using these um, puffy dots from the bright side, and that is from Fancy Pants. And I don't have a ton of Fancy Pants stuff, but for some reason today I've pulled out some of it. Um, And I, I like how the vellum just kind of provides a little landing spot for all of the embellishments. And um, for December, I was kind of into using the vellum. I don't know why, but uh, I like how it's transparent or translucent. And um, But when you're really looking, it gives you a little bit of added texture. So that's always fun. And then I'm using some Pink Fresh Studio stickers and some little blue hearts in each of those areas. I am going to off camera add a little bit of stitching to uh, the lower left hand corner and the upper right. And it's a little yellow stitching. And that's gonna pretty much do it. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.